Equations derived so far allow us to perform many calculations. However, these equations do not tell us how the reaction actually occurs. This requires the reaction mechanism, the step-by-step -step series of reactions that takes reactants to products. We can never absolutely prove that we have the correct reaction mechanism. We can only say that it is consistent with every experimental observation. As soon as we find one inconsistency, we must modify our proposed reaction mechanism to account for this inconsistency. The steps of a reaction mechanism, once summed, must absolutely yield the global reaction. In other words, once all of the steps are completed, the right number of reactant molecules must be consumed and the right number of product molecules must be generated. In a reaction mechanism, the kinetics of an individual step in the reaction mechanism is indeed given by the number of molecules involved. If a step involves a single molecule of A reacting, it is first order in A and only A. If it involves two molecules of A, it is simply second order in A. Or, if involving one molecule of A and one molecule in B, it is second order overall and first order in both A and B. We could never make such a statement about the global reaction's kinetics. The rates at which each step occurs can wildly differ. One step can be very rapid, while another will only occur very slowly. When one step is much slower than all the other steps, we say that it is the rate determining step, and the global reaction's kinetics will match the kinetics of this step. You cannot go faster than your slowest step. So, if the rate determining step involves a molecule of A and a molecule of B, the global reaction will be second order overall, first order in A and first order in B. Finally, a reaction mechanism might introduce species not seen in the balanced chemical equation. These are either intermediates or catalysts. An intermediate is a chemical species temporarily produced by one step and subsequently consumed in a following step, thus removing it from the final balanced equation. A catalyst is an existing chemical species crucial to the reaction mechanism, but it is first consumed in one step, only to be regenerated in a later step. A catalyst's role is to reduce the activation energy, making the reaction go much faster than otherwise possible. To illustrate all these points, consider the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. It is usually an extremely slow reaction. However, upon the introduction of an iodide salt, the reaction is very fast, and the kinetics of the global reaction is second order overall, first order in hydrogen peroxide and first order in iodide. Immediately, this tells us that the iodide must be a catalyst, essential to the reaction kinetics, but absent from the final balanced equation. Also, the rate determining step must involve a hydrogen peroxide molecule and an iodide anion. The following reaction mechanism is consistent with all these observations. The kinetics of the rate determining slow step is consistent with the overall kinetics, and the sum of the two steps of the mechanism yields the final balanced equation. Finally, the IO- or hypoiodite is an intermediate produced by the first step and consumed by the second. It is a reasonable intermediate as it is a known chemical species. Its temporary presence is thus not totally unreasonable.